Hi, this is Abdullah Galal, and this is the video number five in the product costing of manufactured items. In this video, I'm going to explain how to calculate the conversion cost for each unit of production. And this will include activity-based costing, manufacturing activities, manufacturing activity rates, overhead allocation, and any other related terms. As explained, one of the main objectives of product costing is to know how much we have to pay to manufacture one unit of our product. So when I look at a chair, for example, I can say that this chair has a total cost of 10 USD. And then based on this, I can make very important decisions. Now, every single manufacturing expense we have has to be allocated to our manufacturing units. And in the previous video, I explained how easy it is to allocate the direct material cost. So when you look at a chair, you can easily tell that we had to consume these quantities of components and then you multiply it by the cost and you get the direct material cost. But for conversion expenses or, co or for conversion costs, it's not as easy because conversion costs are not directly related to the product. They are actually spent over a period of time sometimes. So to explain more and also to show you how, how important and how complicated it can be to allocate the conversion cost, I'm going to make our example a little bit complicated. So as you remember, our example is we have a factory that manufactures only one product, a chair. But today we are going to manufacture two products, chairs and tables. And the, both the products take the same components to produce. So they both use wood and nails and they both have the same production process. We cut the wood into smaller pieces and then we assemble the wood into chairs or tables but they use different quantities of components and they use different times in assembly. So for example, the worker can assemble the chair in five minutes, but can assemble the table in 10 minutes. So, so tables take twice the time as the chairs. Now let's take one of the conversion costs we have as an example. So for example, the wages cost we have to pay to the worker. So every month, this worker, we have to pay him 2000 USD as a wage. Now, how can we allocate the 2000 USD to our chairs and tables? So if I ask you, how much did we pay in wages for this chair? You can answer. So let's say that our planned manufacturing for this month is to produce 500 chairs and 500 tables. And we, are, we also have a planned wage of 2000 USD. So how can we allocate 2000 USD to tables and chairs? We have to find a cost driver. A cost driver is the reason we pay this cost. Why do we pay a wage to the worker? We pay him so he, ca he can work every day for six hours, for example. So the cost driver is the time consumed. So we pay the worker for his time. So every time he comes to work, we have to pay him his wage. So to allocate this cost to our products, we need to know how much time the worker takes in order to make a chair and how much time it takes to make a table. And then we have to know the cost per minute for the worker. And this is very easy if you think about it this way. So this worker has to work six hours a day for 20 days a, week, uh, a month. So we multiply six hours by 20, we have 120 hours. And then we multiply by 60 and you can get the, how many minutes the worker is going to work in the coming month. Then we divide 2000 by the total number of minutes available then you get a rate per minute. So for example, let's say that the worker, the cost per minute for the wages is 0.5 USD, 50 cents. And then we know that a chair uses five minutes for assembly. So we multiply five minutes by 50 cents. And now we know that every chair has a wages cost of 2.5 USD. And same goes for tables. We multiply 50 cents by 10 minutes so every table has a cost of five USD in terms of wages. See, now we can allocate the wages cost to the products based on the cost driver of the activity hours or the activity minutes of assembly. And this is what we call activity based costing. So for every conversion cost you have, we try to find a cost driver. The cost driver is something that we can allocate the cost to the products based on. So in our example, our cost driver is the labor minutes. And then we allocated the cost of the wages based on the labor, labor minutes to every product. 
and this is activity-based costing and we try to do this to every single conversion cost we have so for example for the machinery uh, we have to pay depreciation maintenance gas utilities any expenses we pay for machine for the machine we can also allocate this expense based also on the number of minutes it takes the machine to cut the wood to make a chair and to make a table so this way we can also allocate the machine cost to the products based on the number of minutes needed of machinery for every product and also there is another example such as setup cost so every time we make a batch of chairs so today we are going to manufacture chairs we have to shut down the machine switch the machine mode to chairs and we have to leave it for 30 minutes to heat up and this costs us around 100 usd and same goes for tables so every time we say we are going to manufacture tables we have to shut down the machine and then we have to switch it to the table mode and then leave it to heat up for 30 minutes and this also costs us 100 usd so we try to allocate this 100 usd to the number of units we produce in every setup so today for example in this shift we are going to manufacture 100 shares then we switch to tables so for the 100 shares we are going to pay 100 usd of setup so each share has a cost of one usd in terms of setup so now we could also allocate the setup cost to every share we produce we try to do this to everything so this is what we call activity based costing but eventually you are also going to end up with some expenses that you cannot allocate to any cost driver for example every day someone is going to clean the factory after the shift and we have to pay this person a wage and he also uses some cleaning materials to clean the factory and this is an expense so for example we pay 1000 usd every month for cleaning how can we allocate this cleaning expense to chairs and tables there is no link it's not related to the uh, time we use it's not related to the components we use it's not related to anything but it has to be allocated every single expense has to be allocated to the production units so we have to improvise we have to find ways to allocate this cost to the products and this is this can be different between different companies every financial analyst has a different opinion about this so for example my opinion would be to allocate the cleaning material to the number of units we produce yeah it's not accurate but this is the best i can do and the important thing is we have to allocate everything so in my example, I will say that we have 1000 USD of cleaning cost and we have 1000 chairs and tables that we are going to produce. So I'm going to say then my cost is 1000 USD over 1000 uh, 1000 units. So every table and every chair has a cleaning cost of one USD. So now, if you think about it this way, then the cleaning cost is called an overhead. This is an overhead expense. And the number of units we produce is the overhead allocation base. This is the base we use to allocate the cost. And this is what we call overhead and overhead allocation base. You can also have different examples. So for example, we have a production supervisor. The production supervisor, he takes a fixed salary every month to supervise the production operations. And it's not related to the time we use or anything. It may be related to the number of employees that we hire, the number of workers we have. So how can we allocate this cost to the chairs and tables so every month we pay the production supervisor 5000 usd and we have to allocate it to our chairs and tables so the best way to allocate it in my opinion would be to allocate it to the direct labor cost so the uh, labor activities now as in the, in the beginning of this video we explained that the wages of the worker is going to be allocated based on the time he uses to assemble the chair and table and then we have the labor cost so the supervisor, the production supervisor cost, I'm going to allocate based on the labor cost. So every time we spend one USD for the worker, I'm going to add 0.5 or 0.5 USD for the supervisor. And it can be different based on different opinions. But for now, we understand the meaning of activity based costing, manufacturing activities, manufacturing activity rates overhead allocation overhead allocation base and overhead allocation rate now the overhead allocation base and rate and overhead expense sometimes we call a costing sheet so a costing sheet is a sheet that would have the the expense we have and the base we uh, we are going to allocate the expense based on and the rate as simple as this a costing sheet is somewhere where we define the rules 
that we use to allocate the overheads. So how can we be sure that we never miss any manufacturing expense, that we allocate every single manufacturing expense we have? This is what I'm going to explain in the coming video along with the meaning of overabsorption and underabsorption, cost centers and cost pools. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.